Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Hello, everyone, we and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you my latest creations. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these types of videos, but I just figured I had a couple things to show you that I wanted to go ahead and get to using. So if you want to see my latest and greatest creations, just keep on watching the video. Okay, so I guess you want to see my latest and greatest creations because you're still watching. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is one of my quilting projects. And this project, literally, I started this project probably 10 years ago. So I've been, you know, back and forth with it for a while. But I finally got the binding put on this quilt. And I think it turned out very cute, very masculine, but I really like it. So this is what it looks like. It's got all these fun little apple core designs on it and it's super big but I just love it it's nice and warm because it's made out of denim material and then the back is green and I quilted it myself it might have been over 10 years ago I don't really know but I made this nice quilt so I finally finished putting the binding on it so that is creation number one that I have to show you. And then this one, um, it's not that old, it's maybe a couple years old, but I finally got this done. My mom got a quilter, a long arm quilting machine, so when I was in town to visit her, she let me test out her new quilting gadget so I was so excited and I was like oh yes thank you I'm gonna get a couple quilts done now I do have a couple more quilts that I did but I'm not gonna show you guys until I'm completely done with them binding them and all that so if you want to see that just stay tuned for that video it's gonna be coming very soon I promise you guys as soon as I get those bindings put on I'm gonna be showing those but it's this Super cute little wall hanging quilt and I'll show you guys the quilting on the back. I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to step up close. But that is what the quilting looks like. So pretty! You guys look at that. Maybe I'll step back some so you can see it a little bit better. But isn't that cute? I love this one. I love it. So pretty. So that's another one of my little creations that I did. And then moving along, that's the only quilting projects that I have to show you this time around. But I do have some crochet projects because I have been crocheting just a little bit. So I'll show you the little creations that I came up with. I made these really cute, 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 cute little heart-shaped pillows. And I gotta step up close to show you guys. But they are just these little pink heart-shaped pillows. And they look like this. Aren't those adorable? And so, and then I put like a little fun fur trim around them. Now, these pillows, I do actually use them, like if I'm sitting on the couch in the evenings, just like crocheting or watching a movie or putting quilt binding on or just looking at my tablet or anything, you know, just sitting on the couch. I'll put this like behind my head just for like a little, a little headrest and they're so cute and so adorable. I think these turn out absolutely adorable. Moving along, I only have two more crochet projects and then we are done for my latest creations but I'm still creating things so I'm still gonna be coming up with more things and making more things but I made these little footy socks and 
they are so cute. I put a little fur trim. You guys, I love fur trim. So, they're just like this. And they're really pretty. I don't know. I just love that pastel -y pink. And you see the fur on it? These two are not absolutely adorable. And then they just pop out like this. And you put them on your feet like so. And then a little fur on the back. But yeah. So I made some little fur crocheted slipper socks. Just thought those were super cute. When I saw the pattern on Pinterest, I was like, only one hour to make these, I've got to try them. So, and then they didn't really take me longer than an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, because I put the fur trim on them, and the pattern didn't say to put the fur trim, but you know me, I like a little bit of extra, a little bit of pizzazz. And then last, I know you guys, and I'm sorry, if you watch my other, my latest creations, you know, I was working on this project. And that's why I don't want to show anything that I'm working on until I'm completely finished. Because sometimes it takes me forever to get a project done. I start on this project and I work on it for a little bit. And I'm like, no, I'm bored of that. And then I'll go to another project and I work on it. And I'm like, no, I'm bored of that. And then I go to another project and it's just like... All around just bouncing around in projects like I have crafting ADHD but nonetheless I got a couple things finished and this one is the one you guys probably have been waiting for for quite some time because I made a video and I said I promise I'll show you guys when I get done finally got done with this beautiful beautiful Afghan And it's so big, but that's how it looks. And you guys, this is what the stitches look like up close. They are so pretty. It's got like the different color rows. I've got the blue, the teal, the cream. And I was going to put on a border for it, but it's going to a man. So he didn't really want the border that I was going to put. I was going to put like some fur or some pom-poms or something like that, but he was against it, so we didn't do that. That is all my latest creations. I hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and like the video if you did like it, and also... Don't forget to leave me a comment of the thing that was your absolute favorite. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, loves. In my heart.